You can't take back some things you already done, done, no. You blame things that you do on somebody else, uh, no. But they all see, but they all see is you need help, mm. oh. But still you try. up your tracks spend all your days running away now you gotta watch your back and that's the past you spend so much of your life scheming and trying to get older got you wondering why you come around all you get is cold show uh What's up, everybody? On a Monday, we're here live ripping on a Monday because it's fun day Monday. And I'm obsessed with the gold Julio. I can't I can't stop thinking about it. It's been a long time, a long time coming. And I'm going to rip a whole case, 40 box case of 2022 Tops Update. I'm glad you're here with me. I just got to adjust, adjust something. I'm feeling funky today, but we got to keep the lyrics off of here just in case. I don't know what kind of crazy things that they may say. All right, there we go. It's a funky Monday, baby. Let's go. Who's here with me? Oh, Wong was first. Quick on the trigger. I like that. Arnold, what's happening? 
Nicholas. Five star Paxton. That baseball guy, what's up? Orange Joe. Silver Trevor. Marlin. Everybody's here. Pile on in. Hit the like button. First, I wanted to show you a little. I'm going to give you a little sample, a little taste of my Julio PC. We got a chill vibe Monday. Nothing really important that we got to just power through. It's more of a hangout session. I got to add something here because I have an idea. Got an idea, and it involves this case. I'm distracted by how loud this is. Sorry. It's really, really loud, and I'm just like in the groove. There we go. That's a little better. Okay. So here's my idea as I incorporate this source somehow. What is it exactly? An image? I think it's an image. Um, it's called email me. There we go. Here we go. <laughs> Alert. So here's what I'm going to do with all this stuff. I'm really looking for like, you know, just a handful of cards out of here to pad the PC. So everything else I'm going to sell in a bulk lot. Shoot me an offer if you're interested. There's going to be like 4,000 cards that come out of this break today that we're going to go through. And I'm probably going to keep like a dozen of them maybe. And then everything else out the door to you in a box. If you're interested, just shoot me an offer. F, you know, we'll see what we pull. There's going to be some good stuff. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. I'm just going to put that up there. Just like that. Can you read it? It's not in the way. But we're hanging out. All right, here we go. Let's start. Let's start the show off session. We're going to start. We're going to take it easy at first. With this. Just, uh, 2023 Julio. Nothing too fancy. But it was sitting there, so I grabbed it. Now we're getting into the prospect stuff. I guess that's covering up the alert box. Maybe I need to do something about that. How about that. We're getting into the prospect stuff here. Julio Mojo. 2020 Bowman Chrome Prospect. Should I keep him on the stage? I don't know. And then I got the whole spread of sapphires. Big Al, what's up? Wishing all the best. Wishing all the best for the best. Keep on rocking. Thanks, Big Al. The complete sapphire prospect spread right here. And then a couple of Bowman Chrome rookies. 22 Bowman Chrome rookies. We'll double stack them. I have these raw because I don't know... Like, that one's a little thick on the left, so that's not going to gem up. That one's decent. That might gem up. Maybe a little... You got to flip them upside down sometimes. Maybe a little thick on the, the bottom there. And then that one looks pretty good. I just didn't send these ones away. But I picked them up as singles, and I, I wanted the entire Sapphire spread... And we'll get to more of it in just a moment. Did everybody have a good weekend? I sure did. Watch some UFC fights. Where do we begin? Oh, since we're on the Sapphire kick, I really like this one. Easy glare. Get out of there. This is the 2019 Bowman Draft Sapphire. And he doesn't have a first Sapphire card because they weren't doing that for Bowman cards at that point. 
So this is, I believe, 2019 Bowman Draft Sapphire was the first iteration of Bowman Sapphire cards. So this is the first Julio Rodriguez Sapphire card. And it's a prospect. Gem Mint 10. I just thought it was a nice piece to add to the collection. Pretty glorious. I don't think there's a ton of them either. How do I start introducing these? I guess I'll start with low on the totem pole and work my way up. The base UK. You know, I, I don't know what the pop is. I'm going to pull up the pop. PSA, just so we can be on the same page. Like I said, there's nothing really going on today, so we can take time. Trim with a 20-month, almost to two years. Wow. Good luck today, Striker. Thank you, Trim. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I need it. I need all the luck I can get. You know how many cases of this I've opened for my PC? That's another reason why I just want to, like, I can't. I've got so many boxes of this stuff just sitting there, like trying to make sets. I've made a bunch of sets. It's just a time consuming process. So, this is a win win scenario. Someone's going to get a good deal on all this, everything that comes out of here, except for a handful of cards. And then I'm going to ship it out and get it off of my shelf. Everybody wins. Anywho, what were we? Oh, yeah, UK 2022. See if I can find it. I'm going to guess. Maybe we can guess as a group. Am I even going to be able to find it? Maybe not. 2022 tops. That's going to take too long if I do this. Never mind. We're changing plans on the fly. Here we go. If someone wants to be the go-to pop report guy, you got nothing else going on. Just randomly put it in the chat, the pop on all these graded gems I'm about to show, if you want to. If you want to be a happy Helperton. UK. I'm going to take this off the screen for now. Next up, this is a unique one. Twenty twenty two Montgomery Club. Set number five. It's just a really unique design that you're not going to see anywhere. Limited production, limited set. Not a lot of people sent this off. Pop report. Who's the Helperton? Scanning. I don't. Yeah, but my phone is like right here, so I can't. I don't have a way to scan everything live right now, unfortunately. Otherwise, yeah, that would be the easiest way of doing it. I've got some of the pops on some of this stuff once we get into Bobby, but Montgomery Club. I like the unique ones. I like chasing for like PC cards, the ones that there aren't a lot in the pop. Maybe it's not the most valuable card, but I like the spread, the variety. Try to chase like all the different versions that I really like. We'll get into the debuts because the debuts don't hold nearly as much, about a half, half as much value on the debuts as the regular. The debuts US 97. Got the gold. Gold debut. The chase today is the gold true with that pose. This one's quite affordable if you're in the budget or if you're in the market looking for like an affordable limited Julio rookie. It's the rookie debut numbered out of 2022. And follow that up with the Sapphire rookie debut. It's got some particles. That's unacceptable. There we go. You can't have particulate in between your sleeve and the slab. Moving on to some of the better ones. Let's go with... Let's go with this guy right here. Another unique one. The 87 blue. It's going to be low pop. I always love the the throwback designs. 87, 86, 88, 85. All, all the throwback design ones. 
just because they're a lower pop. Like I was chasing the Acuna. And, you know, some of the, like Acuna Soto, some of those guys where they have a really high, real heavy population in the PSA report of the base cards. So you can kind of pivot. Still got the rookie insignia on there. Still a collectible look and design. Everybody, rec if you rip the stuff, you recognize that that card. And the blue parallel is really tough to pull, and there's not a lot of them. It's fairly affordable, too. It's not going to break the bank. If you want to get something unique like that. Let's go with the first mojo. 2019, you can get these out of the Bowman Mega Box in 2019. And I opened up a lot of 2019 Bowman. Uh, I, I think I got a, the equivalent of about a case of Bowman Mega Boxes. This is the first true chase that I went around to all the different stores trying to find boxes earlier in my ultra modern collecting. And the reason why I went this route, I had a few of the regular Julios, but the pop got real high on those and it starts to be just really easy to attain and i like the lower pop stuff obviously so these I, i'd guess like a quarter of the pop if not less than the regular first now we're getting now we're getting there how about this blue blue black gold psa 9 Almost impossible in a 10. Almost impossible. Um, I went and looked at the Bobbies and the Julios. I feel like there was like maybe one or, or just one or two 10s in the Julio maybe, and the Bobby doesn't have any, something like that, or, or vice versa. But there's always a little something wrong with them, whether it's slightly OC somewhere or the back. I mean, it's it's ridiculous, the backs on these black back white little little white specks little chipping around the edges or a little a slight bit of white on the corner brings you down to a nine but what a beautiful card even the base black golds are desirable and what would we have what kind of julio collection would there be without the gold black gold this was in my ebay store i decided to pop it in the pc for a while at least if not permanently and take, I mean, look at how centered that front is, how crisp and sharp and centered. I don't know how it didn't gem up. And I, did I pull this out of a blaster? This is either the second or third blaster case I'm about to open, but those are numbered to 75 and they are rare. There's a ton of them that are still missing in action. That's one of my favorite cards in my collection. Now we got the black UK. Black UK is numbered to 125. So there's just there's not even twice as many of these as the regular black that you get. But this is a super tough gem. Ridiculous gem. I don't know how many if I, well, we got no PSA 10s of the blue black gold. Thanks, Jabber. Yeah, if you guys, anybody in the chat, if you want to keep it up, Snow Plays, thank you for getting the pop. If you can reference what card, because I'm a little bit off of the chat so i don't know what card you're talking about with the pop if you could just say what it is i would appreciate it greatly thank you but anyway blue black go I, the the black uk is a sweet i mean look at how perfect that thing is i ripped a whole case of that just to get to that point sapphire PSA 10 Sapphire, there's a lot of nines of this card, especially. The quality control wasn't perfect on 22 update Sapphire, so you're going to get a lot of nines. If you look at the pop on this, a lot of nines. Pop four on the black UK. Thank you. That Yeah, so there's four of these that exist in the whole world. I've got one of them. That's how I look at it. Just, there's four that exist, so there's three others out there in the world. But this is a staple of any particular rookie in anybody's collection. The Sapphire PSA 10. Once a player gets really hot, these cards explode in price. And if you can get it when a 
when a guy's in a slump or something, that's probably the best way to go. But that is one of my faves. And now we're getting into my truly favorites. There's so many favorites. I'm going to put this out there. This is my only Julio. It was in the eBay store for a while, but I thought, dude, I don't have a Julio auto in my collection. And yeah, it's a sticker, but it's numbered to 10. It's a rookie. Super rare. There's only a few of these. I mean, 10 that could possibly exist. I know that there's a couple. I don't know if any are actually graded besides this one. This one's 10 to 10. And I did pull this out of a bla the blaster case that I opened. My only Julio auto, my only Julio rookie auto. After this, I'll get to ripping. Oh, this is a tough choice. We're getting to the tough choice of what my favorite one in the PC is, but this is going to be top four. Purple refractor. Quality controls horrible on 22 tops. Chrome update. Probably 90% of them are going to be lower than a 10 that you pull. So if you can actually find one that's centered, that's the biggest problem is the centering. I didn't really see a lot of scratch issues, but the centering is horrible. So to get a 10... Highly collectible. That's probably number four on my top 15 list. And we got this. I got involved in a case. Uh, geez. Two cases? A Topps Chrome Update Sapphire. I think it was two case break. And I bought Julio. So I got the debuts and the regulars. And it was not going well. Like out of a whole case, you should get at least one to two Julios of each kind and I was I think at that point I had only gotten one regular number 44 Julio I had like three four debuts and I was bummed out but the people and the, you know we had a whole bunch of people come over to this guy's break filled up the chat the most he's ever had probably by far and it wasn't happening so he pulled out a bonus box at the end because he felt bad I didn't get much and I spent like $1,800 on the break or something it was crazy and he pulled out one more box just to try to pad it a little bit, and this was in there. Got a nine. Um, I don't really, like, it's just slightly thin on the top, I think. Because of the back is good enough. These are numbered to 75. Another PC rip, and I can't remember what format this came out of. It was either, it may have been uh, hanger boxes, but the orange foil... Lower pop on this. Beautiful card. Way fewer of these than the gold. And these started out as being not as collectible. And people didn't really know what to think when they added these different foil variations. The red, the green, and the orange. But I think it's starting to work itself out to where these are becoming where they should. They're, they're getting closer to where they should be. The different ones. There's just They're so hard to pull. They're so rare. They're not like a dime a dozen. You can just go grab one on eBay. There's only a few. If you want one raw, and if you want one raw, it's not going to be a 10. So the fact that I gem that up is awesome. And then my favorite Julio in my PC, I I got to give it to the Pink Wave. So You can only get these out of the hanger boxes, and they're horrible quality. A vast, vast majority of them are so OC that they're not even worth sending away to get graded. Eights, sevens, sixes. And I bought this one raw. I, I searched for a couple hours, and I found one that I thought looked centered. Bought it raw, sent it off, and it gemmed. I can't believe it gemmed. Love that card. And there we have it. Strikers Julio PC to get the good vibes going for this rip that's about to take place. Good day, gentlemen. I will see you soon. And I got to make some room in my box for a lot of these. I might just have to have a special Julio box for only his stuff. And of course, you know, th these are just, I've got tons of different base cards of his and stuff, but I didn't think that was really worth a show and tell. Oh yeah, so Bobby, Bobby stuff while we're here. I'll just show you my Bobby PC as far as the graded PSA 10s. Got to have the mullet. That's a 527 pop. 
at least it was when I did this, when I took note, which was a couple weeks ago. The first camo, I like to get the affordable parallels. So, and then a mini rainbow. Yeah, by the way, oh, I didn't find a pop on that. Rainbow foil, 155 pop on that one. Gold foil, 56 pop on that one. And then the gold, 156 pop on the gold. Found that on the ground. Maybe that's for the for the camo first. <sighs> Are we ready? A lot of people ask about seeing the PC, so I thought I'd show a little bit off. You like those cat? You like those tags? Wow, 338 here. Let's get the likes up. Get some more people in here. I'd love to get like 500 in the house on a Monday afternoon. Woo! That'd be great. Share it with your friends. If you know anybody that like collecting cards and that would enjoy seeing this, just send them a little link real quick. Live on Twitch, Facebook, obviously YouTube. I don't know if I'm live on Rumble. I haven't checked in a while, but I'm going to pull this up again. Michael, here comes the Julio Gold. Good luck. Thank you. Countless cases. So this case is like twelve hundred bucks right now. And what I'm gonna do is the highest the the person who offers me the best price for most of these cards. We'll go through it at the end. I'll tell you what I'm gonna keep and what I'm not gonna keep. You get the whole box. I'm just gonna ship everything to you. That's how I'm gonna do it. Man, there's gonna be a lot of rip in here. Two hundred and eighty packs. Three, four, five, yeah. Oh, you don't like the tags? You were just being a dick? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can really tell sarcasm easily over the internet text, can't you? Play the sarcasm game. I love that game. I always win. Orange foil in pack number one. Do we? Yeah. Let's get AM breaks. Let's get some expectations, projections, over, under. We got all day to play here. <laughs> I know. I know. I did know it was Kiwi. I did. But. It is tough. That is a problem. When like people leave comments on videos and stuff and they're being sarcastic, it's like, how the heck? How are you supposed to know? Unless you know, you just know. But others that can't, so there's a certain group of people that just don't know. They can't, they don't know what sarcasm is. They can't distinguish it. A certain group of people. I say it like it's a group. There's just certain people. Let's get something established here. What are we thinking? Am I going to... Let's... We'll start out this way. A little poll. Will I pull the gold? And it's okay if you say no. I'll only hate you for five years, and then I'll get over it. <laughs> Sarcasm. There's a little line in that. I don't like do we take the time to go like over under on oranges I know what's good I've opened enough of this to know what to expect out of this case we're gonna get probably a Mother's Day Father's Day Independence Day 
and then we're, we'll get maybe a camel or a vintage stock, probably a vintage stock. If we're lucky, we get a camel. Autographs, we might get two to three. Relics, same thing, two to three. Pulled many golds, but probably not Julio. Yeah, we're probably going to hit... You're, I mean, it's almost a gold per box. I would guess like 30 golds, maybe. What's it, what's it say on here? One in 14 gold. So like every other box is going to have a gold. So we're going to get 20 golds. And there's 330 cards. Not good odds. But I'm at the point where the odds are actually in my favor long term. Like it's going to happen today. And if it doesn't, how, how dare, how dare tops update. We're going to kind of keep all this stuff separate because someone's going to bid, make an offer on all this stuff. I want you to know what you get. It's going to be like 4,000 cards roughly. Wow, two rainbows in this one. I don't know if that's too loud. Lodolo, all the rookies. I mean, there's going to be probably around 10 complete sets. Maybe like, let's just say eight. Eight or nine, eight to 10 complete sets. Helmet cards, there's going to be 40 helmet cards. There will probably be about half a dozen parallels, maybe a little less than half a dozen parallels. Parallel helmets between blue and whatever. What's up, Jeff? Do you see 23 update being as loaded as 20? No, it's not. It's it doesn't have the a very good checklist in terms of like true rookies. All the rookie debuts are in there and black golds are in there and golden mirrors. You can get the debut of everybody in, in a parallel, but I'm not really going to be ripping a whole lot of that. We'll we'll get a couple cases just to open for the channel. It breaks. But I don't plan on opening a lot of PC stuff. That's why I'm doing this instead. Matt, I, I need that, man. A lot of thoughts and energy focused on a gold Julio coming my way. And not only gold, I want it to be a good one, you know, like a gem type. Are we upside down? These blaster boxes, they're good. We're going to get a lot of short prints. This is going to be one of the big nickel and dime your way back things. Short prints. Tom Seaver is the first one. Probably get like a complete set of chrome stars of MLB. Close to it, if not a complete set. And then the regular stars, you get multiple complete sets of that. Blues. Okay, that's another one. So, like, the blue Julio would be great. Low pop on PSA 10s for blue Julio and Bobby. Blue Bobby would be awesome. Stremski batting helmet number two. Per box. Multiple parallel. It's like two at least per box. What is this? Oh, that's just a, that's a gold. Okay. Oh, dirty gold. Is that gold number one? Like every other box, right? That's what we determined. We're going to get a bunch of parallels of the inserts that are going to be low pop. There we go. Julio number one. That's a nice looking one.
I think I just might like get a little stack going of the better Julios. All right, two boxes deep. Lot one, two, three, four, five parallels and a short print. Switch hats after every 10 boxes. I got a whole look going. I, I got my I got my Safari striker card look going. So I gotta stick with it. Good luck, cowboy hat. I think we're gonna get a mountain of garbage. That'll be fun. 64% are saying yes. Ken's calling a black Julio. Well, Ken, those only come out of hobby boxes. So, but we could get a black insert Julio that would be numbered to like 299. That is possible. But the re like the good black, numbered to 71, I think, or 72. Those ones only come out of hobbies. Same as the gold foils. You can only get gold foils out of jumbo, so we won't be getting any of those. Royce Lewis. Yeah, I like Royce Lewis. I, I found his blue. I didn't do a whole lot of looking, but I've got a lot of Royce Lewis cards. I, I, hit, I hit Royce Lewis heavy. Sold as rainbow foil recently. A chrome Tim Anderson, Julio Stars, Rizzo, Helmet Relic, and then so this box only had oh we're we're not all the way through. I was gonna say only one parallel out of this box. I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna have at least two. What's this. These packs are kind of annoying. So everything's flipped all around. Oh, yeah, here we go. Edward Cabrera. Numbered, rookie, numbered to 299. Does that count as our second parallel? Probably. Julio, Bobby, let me know if you guys see a Soto in here too. I'm not looking that, that good for it. Soto SP. E hat. Pulled a Julio 1988 insert auto to 199. Wow. That's possible. We could get something like that. I would probably have to add that to the PC. Like I said, I'm going to be picky with like PC cards out of here. Everything else is going out the door. PC cards and like I got to try to you know get back a little bit 12 hundy on this case pulled a nice Royce Lewis SP yeah I've pulled multiple Royce Lewis SPs I think I have one so usually what I do when I do like rips like this is I'll kind of go through and do a, an initial just like what cards are good enough to get graded. And I don't even really look at centering or scratches or corners or anything like that. Just like, is this card worthy of sending away to get graded? And I'll put it in a pile, separate pile. And then I go back through when it's grade time, try to time to send off a submission. I'll go back through and like do another, like a real quick, like, is it centered? Is there any noticeable damage to the eyes? Real quick, like maybe, you know, you find like two, three of, I don't know, a handful of them out of your pile that don't make the grade. And then the third look through where you get real serious. Get all the lights on. Looking for scratches and centering. Maybe you get your centering tool out. And 
and then the, really there's like a final one after that too when you're actually putting them into the um the card savers you know when you actually have to take it out get your little Get your little microfiber, wipe all the particles off, be real particular. I've been wearing gloves lately doing it because it saves you from having to deal with fingerprints. Carlson. It's uncomfortable and I hate wearing gloves. But it really saves you time. All right, we got a gold and a foil here. It's the wrong color, though. Kenley Jansen. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yorme. 2022. At least we're getting them. Another chrome. Reed Detmers. It's Julio Stars. 50 buck Chuck, what up? What time today? Depends on how long this goes. I haven't even like gotten anything ready yet. Poker's at my house tonight, so all the boys are coming over in a little bit. I'm gonna say like six o'clock, Chuck. Just I I'm not gonna have time before that. I gotta still go out there and clean everything. Get the TV set up so we can watch Monday Night Football. I gotta get I got YouTube TV, so I got to, like, install that. Use two microfibers. Yeah, I've got, like, half a dozen of them. No, Bill. My wife does not get upset. I told her a long time ago. I said, trust me. She's like, okay. And that was all that needed to be said. I mean, she never has had a problem with it. Ever. I just wanted to, like, reassure her just in case she would. go what's this oh randy short point oh randy batting i have not seen this one but i like it it's a 59er randy batting yes there are a lot of short prints of that after all of this i still haven't seen that's cool Ooh, chrome bobby that's a nice card and that's centered too. That's a potential gem. I think I'm gonna put that on the good cards on the stage pile, stack them up like over here. Blue Ramos, like if I had a dollar for every Ramos parallel I've pulled, Filthy, filthy rich. I'm talking like gold sapphires and everything. Ramos. Bobby. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's a horizontal. CJ rookie. Pretty nice. Your wife buys you packs. Yeah, mine does too. She showed up one day. She showed up one day 
and it was a, around Christmas time. It was a little before. And she had like four bags full of Tops Update that she found at different stores while she was like shopping, grocery shopping or whatever. And I told her, I took a picture to her. I said, if you see any of these boxes, buy them. I almost shed a tear. I was so like, so proud. <laughs> you know, she comes in with garbage bag or grocery bags full of like every different format that they had. Blisters and hangers and blasters and everything. I'm just like, that's my girl. She knows. She'll send me a pic when she goes to the store, too. She'll be like, any interest? Like, whatever they have. And I'm like, nah. Or, yes, buy every one of those. Yeah, an Ultra. Ooh, that'd be great. Have never pulled an Ultra yet. Pulled a few SSPs. I got the Trout SSP. I got CJ Abrams SSP. Uh, I got... Can't remember any others right now. Father and Son Rip says, I wonder if the wives have secret support groups for collectors. I don't know, but that said congratulations on it. I don't know if they all say congratulations. Oh, they do. Bummer. Abisail. Torkelson. Look nice in a black, wouldn't it? Thought that was a black for a second. Another chrome. These chromes flow out of blasters pretty nicely. Rizzo. Oh, we got a red. Okay. Okay. Looking forward to the red. I mean, we could totally destroy the gold with a nice red. I'll take a red. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Here's our first red. We got an orange and a red. Let's organize these in order of numbering. Golds, oranges, reds. We're going to get some greens. Should we just make a little room for them? For the incoming green. How are you doing in fantasy baseball? Got a second. I was winning all week. Seven, seven to three, seven, two, one, six, four. Then yesterday, five, five, halfway through the day. It was six, four, got to five, five. And I'm like, uh oh. He pulled off the victory and he won with whip and ERA, which is like my, that those are my categories. Those are my categories. Although he had the best pitching staff all year besides me. And then it started to fade. He made a couple good pickups that like came through and man, it was a it was a tough battle, but he pulled it off in the end. <sighs> I'm super disappointed about that. And I'm not really wanting to talk about it. Although here we are, so let's just get it all on the table. Mr. Second Place. You can just call me that from now on. Fantasy stuff. I'm second place like every year with everything. Football, basketball, baseball. Second place. Second place. Second place. What's a guy got to do? More research? Plenty of research. Told you not to do it with Mitch Keller. Mitch Keller was great for me all year, and I'm not going to blame him. You know who I'm going to blame? 
I don't either. Hold on. Let me find someone to blame. <laughs> There's got to be someone to blame other than myself. Let's find someone to blame. Oh, I know who to blame. Um, I'm going to go ahead and blame Brian Wu. Brian Wu. He he's the one he's the reason I lost. Th at Texas, 3.1 innings pitched, 5 hits, 6 earned runs, 2 walks, 4 home runs allowed. His ERA was 16.2 and his whip was 2.1. That's why. It really is. Because I lost ERA and whip. Everything else was like Brian Wu, you're not allowed on my property. Just keep far away from Casa de Striker. Also, you know who else stuck a knife in my back at the end? Freddie Peralta. Yesterday, it was Brian Wu and Freddie Peralta. They destroyed me. Peralta has been my like saving grace all year. And yesterday, three innings pitched at Miami. Miami's a pitcher's part. Nine hits allowed, four earned runs, two home runs, 12 ERA, three whip. That was what literally did it. Yeah. No more woo. He was a waiver guy. He was floating around the waivers a lot, but he got a lot of strikeouts this year. He had, uh, yeah, nobody really cares, but I'll tell you anyway. He had 88 strikeouts through 84 innings. So he's, at, like, he's just been up and down. I thought at Miami was a pretty nice matchup. Decent. Maybe not nice, but decent. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another gold. We got our first black gold, Pete Alonzo. I'm going to put him over here. I like black golds a lot. And that's how you nickel and dime. Update, nickel and dime heaven, but not for me, for you, if you want to buy most of these cards. Dude. Giorme again? I hope it's not a Giorme case. Kind of sick of this music already. I haven't eaten yet today, so I may be a little hangry. CJ rookie. So we got Torkelson and CJ rookies, and we got another Chrome Rizzo. How about the Dolphins putting up 70? Yeah. I mean, that's great for whoever had the Dolphins. I don't have any Dolphins on my team. Any of my teams. That was one of those scenarios that you take a risk, you take a you take a gamble because nobody really knows about Tua's concussion brain. So it it's a risk going into the fantasy season. Not not only are you going to take Tua, but all his weapons too, because when he's not in there, it's not as good. It reminds me of like Deshaun Watson back in the day. Like that offense reminds me of the Texans offense when they had Hopkins and uh, what was the other dude that was the deep threat that just kept catch like every game. He was having huge games. DeAndre's just like chucking it down the field. Can't remember the other guy. But you could just like throw in Texans. Degatti. 
Soto Black Gold. Chrome Darvish. There's our first parallel. Blue Starling Marte. Those are unnumbered. Indoor bags tonight. Is it raining? It looked like it was going to rain. I don't think we can do it, Chuck. I mean, after everything's... We might be able to move a couple things out of the way, but it's pretty tight in there. It is possible. I have done it, but it's pretty tight. Freaking Pilkington. My nemesis. But behind him. Oh, Hansa. Still plenty of shots. Hi, Julie. You heard the Bobby Witt Platinum is still in there. Well, I know the Julio's not, but I don't know about the Bobby. It's one of those things where, how are we to know if someone pulled it and then just, you know, happened to not plaster it all over social media or send it away to get graded or something? Full case, Steve. Can't play poker without stogies. Yeah, we got... Don't you worry. Plenty of stogies. And other things. Vanek says, Have you ever received such a great discount on eBay? You had to take the deal. I just scored a Strider rookie to 25. Guy offered it to me for 50% off. Must have spent too much this weekend. I have not received such a good deal like that that I had to. However, I have received offers that are ridiculous and I would never even consider. Like this dude has a... Man, what's the most recent one? You know, I'm chasing Stella Novas. So I'm, I got my eyeballs on like every one of them. And this dude sent me an offer. He had one of them for like four ninety nine, and I like I you know I put a bunch of them in my watch list just so I remember them. And so then they can send you offers if you're watching it. And I don't even know how to do that. I should probably figure that out. I think you got to do it on your app or something. But he wanted like four ninety nine for this thing. It's probably worth like one hundred and twenty five bucks at the most. And then he's like, special deal, four seventy nine ninety nine. That those are the offers that I get. Come on, man. I'm not the guy that sends people emails saying like, hey, you're way too high on this card because I'm way too high on a lot of stuff too. But that's why I have best offer. That's a pretty nice card. But there's a lot of stuff like that on eBay. It's actually good for people to have things listed high. It's good for, you know, the value of cards. The race to the bottom is not a good thing. Royce Lewis Chrome. There we go. That's what we were talking about earlier. A little Royce Lewis action and a blue Corey Seager. Ooh, and there's the Bobby. It's a good box already. Blue parallel Corey Seager bat relic. Batting helmet relic. So two parallels out of there so far. And black gold Bobby. And that looks, that looks pretty nice. See what the back's all about. That's probably a nine. Oh, this is a good one upcoming. Check this out. Check it out. Bang. Bang. That's a beauty. Ooh, and followed up with a stop. Good box. Gold stat. Yeah, 
That looks pretty good. Blue Bobby and a gold stot in the same box. Now we're starting to roll. What's that all about, Jeff? Did you find some? Not seeing. Blue Bobby debut. That looks great. Color match. It's not just about Julio, ladies and gentlemen. I love to see it. Mm. I like that card a lot. Anything else hiding in here? Nah. I hope you guys are having a pleasant day. Just a troll. Don't be shy to ban him for life. Go Jackets has a Stella Nova, but you can't remember who it was. You might want to go find that card, dude. They're they're valuable. Like even the lowest end one is still like a $30, $40 raw card. And then if it's anything, it's like a hundred something. And then if it's a parallel, it's like way more. People are digging the Stella Novas, as they should. There's like a lot of action on those cards, too. Bunch of people bidding on them. I don't know like the long-term relevance. I think about it every day. What's the long-term relevance of this card? But then I automatically go, I don't care. I like the way it looks. And then it stops. My brain just goes, okay. Stops thinking about it. You got my Juan Soto? You got your first supernova last night. Sadly, they, yeah, there's something wrong. I, there's something wrong with the look of them. They're really rare. But they look strange with the border, with the top border, like they messed it up. So I don't know. I prefer the Stellas over the Supers. You got an orange gunner to 25. Whoa, James. That's a banger. I'll take that off your hands. If you wanna, if you wanna work something out, maybe. I can't, I can't like pay crazy amounts, but maybe we could work a little combo. If if you wanna sell it, I don't, I don't, I don't need it that much. I already bought a bunch of them, so I don't need anything else. There's only one card that I need. Hey, look at this, and it's the red Soto. But the guy's asking like a. $800 or something for it, and that's out of the question. The only one I saw. Alec Thomas, I actually had to email him to let him know that he had the wrong listing. That's a blue parallel, Alec Thomas. He listed it as an orange to 25, but it was the red to five. And I'm like, hey, man, uh, if you want to sell that, that's not bad either. All right, now we're starting. We're picking up the pace with these parallels. Blue Suzuki, and that is centered. Let's go. Let's get a nice row of color. Blue Castillo bright blue and put him in a separate blue pile because we'll get a bunch of those too what i really want is we're probably going to get a black gold parallel and that'll be fun when we get to that point Raphael divers it'd be nice to get like two blues and maybe a, a gold or something it'd be amazing if i could find the red julio to add the, to get the complete rainbow oh. Or even any of the Bobby black gold parallels I'd add to the PC.
so far these are all going to be included in a lot i haven't gotten one pc card yet although that bobby is calling my name thanks jenks Five thirty in the house. That was the goal. We set a goal and reached it. Thank you. Thanks to viewers like you for sticking around in the chat. I'm excited. Five hundred is my excitement point. Where it's like, woo, let's go. Vibes. Good vibes. I feel something big coming. SSS SSP. What's your minimum standard? Oh, it, it just varies. I like to have stuff in my eBay store. So like some, like for the better guys, like Gunner and Corbin, I'll send away, I'll find like the very best one or two that I have and send those away. But I don't send like a ton of them. I just want to have like one or one or two or something in my store. And if like, let's say they start going for a lot, then I'll send some more away. Because I have plenty of them. So for this, my last order, I sent, um, I think, two Corbins and two Gunners, maybe two Adleys, something like that, just to get, just get all the good, or some of the good rookies. If anybody wants to go shopping, there's a link to my eBay store. Don't be shy. Send me an offer. What do we have here? Jeremy Pena, rookie. We're getting all the rookies. We haven't gotten Julio or Bobby yet, but we got CJ, Pena, Torkelson. I uh, thought we got one other one, too. Chrome Bruhan, Torkelson. Ooh. Suarez. Oh, that's a nice show, hey. Yogi Berra, that one's not numbered. Nice show, hey. I think I'll just sleeve that guy up. Put him in the good card pile. There's our vintage stock. And it's not flipped around. Cautionary tale. Starling Marte, 90 of 99 vintage. Remember what I was talking about earlier? As far as these these lower numbered, like you probably get either one of these or a camo. But I'm going to expect a Mother's Day and Father's Day. When I was going through the pop, not very many Mother's Day Julios have even popped up. Ken Griffey Jr. So that would be absolutely killer. To find one of those. There's only 50. Number to 50. KC, my man. Good luck on Julio. Gold love live update rips. Thank you. I, I was hoping you'd come in here. KC, legendary update ripper. The helmets are hard to sell and even harder to ship. <clears throat> They're not easy to ship. They're heavy, but... I've sold tons of them. It just depends on what you're trying to get out of them. If you're trying to get too much, you're not going to, but I'll put them in lots. Like I'll put four of them in a lot. You know, put one big name and then a few others in there and just get what you can get. Just assume that a, a batting helmet relic card is worth, if you even just say two bucks, and then you take two bucks off the price of your blaster. And then you're into the realm of these are a better value than hanger boxes. Just from that. Now, the batting helmet relics are not my favorite thing. They're bulky. They're cumbersome. But a lot of people think that, like, especially kids love them.
they're geared towards a younger audience, I think. Jeremy sold a bunch of them. Yeah, especially when it first came out, man. People were buying them up. I was surprised. Because when 22 Update first came out, I was like, I'm not really into the blasters, man. Those batting helmet relics are not for me. But then I got to thinking about it, and I actually started selling some of the stuff. And I'm like, really, it's just added value. It's just like a little bit of a little bit of value that you know you're going to have. And it's not like if it's all about nickel and diamond and what you're willing to do. If you got the time, you can nickel and dime that stuff all day. See, Julie's collecting all of them. There's a lot of people that like them. I mean, they weigh like a pound. So like the value, like the perceived value, especially you're like, man, that is a look at how... rookie. That's like metal. I don't know. Seems like good value. A couple of bucks. It's a good display piece. If you got a bunch of them, you want to collect all of them like Julie and you just display them on a shelf or something. Get all the different teams and players that you can get and fairly affordable. Matt says with his one month, <clears throat> I think a set of blue or think a set of blue black golds will be collectible. They're definitely collectible. The everybody loves the blues and all the parallels. Everybody loves the black golds in general, period. Especially a certain generation that remembers them from back in like 93. Like the uh, like the Derek Jeter black gold, you know, super collectible or whatever from back in the day. So you've got like a, a link to the past there. And it extends and people love the look. And they're not like super, super expensive where you can you can still kind of, especially raw, because they're not in like PSA 10 condition most of the time. But as we were talking about earlier, the PSA 10s are like, albatrosses they're so you're not going to get one so don't even consider just consider a nine as like the standard and most of them are nines that you would get so and then another question is what do you mean by like collect like are you going to try to sell it in the future or is it just something you want to hold for your pc but it's definitely collectible and people love them you're framing all of them together yeah i pictured that as a like a, a so a piece you could put on your wall. Big frame of all of them or something like that. Is prison baseball good? No. Crawford stars. Julie, send me an email. Let me know what ones you're missing. I might have some. I'll just send them to you. Brandon Marsh. What do we got coming up here? A gold and a blue back to back. Okay. Dick Mountain. Joe Ross. Come on, big gold. Well, we got a decent gold so far. I kind of, I'm okay with the progress we've made. Although we should be getting quite a few more short prints. Got to keep my eyes peeled. Nice Julio here. That's collectible. And that looks centered. Centered enough to potentially gem. At one point, that was like an $80 card. Gemmed up. Your eyes peeled for the short prints. Help me out. Yeah, that's the th like. You definitely can't send these um, through the eBay standard envelope or flat or PWEs. They're way too thick. You can't do it. They're too heavy, too thick. You can't send relics that way. I mean, you you may be able to get away with it, but some of the relics I've tried to send, like the real thin ones, the 70, 75 point ones, you know, that are flagship relics. They're awfully thin. I tried sending some of those through the eBay standard envelope and they sent them back. How's the case going? It's going all right. We're actually, we're getting some stuff. 
we're not like banging yet, but that blue Bobby's nice. We got two SPs, gold stock, vintage stock Marte. It's going okay. Bunch of parallels. You just gotta got you gotta grind it out until you hit something big. I'm gonna stay positive. No matter what. Because I have fun opening this stuff and we're all here hanging out. 620. That tip to everybody. Thanks for being here. The support is it warms my heart. We're gonna do it. And by it, I mean have fun today. That's really all we're trying to do. Gotta put three stamps on them, says Dwight. Yeah, see, I use these card shells. Let me show you. I use these card shell armalopes. These things are awesome. They protect They protect way better than an envelope, a PWE, and it's the same price. So usually I'll just print off a label and put it on there. And I, I put the, the cards in card savers, so it's even more thin. I don't put them in the rigid top loaders because it, sometimes there's issues with those, but you can fit a few like lower-valued cards in a one card saver send it out or even just put you can get up to like three of them in there but these things are awesome armalopes from cardshells.com okay another blue Ooh, it's the right color it's the right color look at see that color uh, oh. <laughs> pen murphy Shohei is good. Ooh, back to back. Okay, this is the this is the nickel and dime heaven right here. I've got I've got the no food but two cups of coffee shakes going on right now. Because I ate too much yesterday. I ate too many donuts. I ate a lot of donuts yesterday. Actually, there's only, I ate three donuts, but they were probably about a thousand calories each. They're huge. Yastrzemski, is that a black? That looks like a black. Hey, it is. Number to 299. So a new disc golf course opened in town. And it's at the park. And I've been waiting for a disc golf course to come to Lapeer for years. And they finally got one. So they had the grand opening yesterday. And they were giving away all kinds of prizes and uh, they were giving away free discs and all sorts of fun stuff. And they had a raffle. All you had to do is just sign up for the raffle and they had like, gift certificates to get like like massages and all the restaurants in town were getting involved. And there were so many people up there playing. We got there at 10 a.m. So I swing by the, the donut shop. Ooh, there's a little dinger. I'm going to toss that. Swung by the donut shop. It's called Max's Bakery. And they have the most amazing donuts you've ever seen in your life. But man, are they rich. I couldn't. I, I ate one in the morning and then I ate two more later on. And they were like whew, super, super rich. And I'm still feeling it. Oh, come on. Back to back, Julios. Do me right. Do me right. Here we go. There's a gold behind this card, and it could be back to back. It could be. Let's look at the color first. Is that the right color? That might be the right color. You can do it. You can do it. It's not the right one. It's not the right color either. I was... That's a nice Bobby, though. We'll take that. I was really pushing it. I kind of thought it wasn't the right color, but maybe you never know. Printing error or something makes it a little more blue than aqua. Mm. So yeah, first time disc golfing in years because the last time I went, it was 2020 in the thick of things. The last time I wanted to go. In the thick of things. Oh, look at this. We'll get back to that. 
We'll get back to that because this is a beauty. Oh, yeah. Rainbow foil Bobby. That's a PC here. Yes. Beauty. Okay, I think this is the first PC card out of the whole lot. That's what I'm talking about. Last one I got, she gemmed up for me. This one, not sure, but we'll find out. She's going to be close on the centering. Sweet. Window dressing. Look at these. Look at these. Bob here. Let's get this off here for a minute. Those are nice little bobbies right there. I think what we do is we move him up and we move him back. That way we get the full display. Yes. Things are going well. This is well. <sighs> Casey, I knew you were going to like that one, man. That's kind of a like a breather moment where you can take a deep breath and like we're getting there. We're getting there. I feel like just sleeving that up too, even though there's so many, there's going to be a bunch of them in here. Lots of them. So anywho, with the, the whole disc golf thing. I've been discing since I was in college, 2000, 2002, 2001, maybe we started discing because they had a, was it 18 hole course? It was up at Central. It's one of the first courses that I knew about and my whole group of friends would go. I'm not great, but I'm okay. Decent. I've got a really good short range game because I putt over overhand like this. So I'm pretty accurate within like, I don't know, 15 feet maybe. Like almost every one I'm going to sink. And like you get right on that edge where it's, where it's almost a gimme and people can miss. I saw a lot of that going on. There were so many people at the grand opening of the disc golf course. I've never seen that many people at the park before. Yeah, it's been that long for me too, Casey. Three or four years. It was before the pandemic. Because I went out to the park, everything was shut down. I'm like, eh, at least the park will be open. Nah, they just like, they boarded it all off. Like you couldn't even get into the park. It's in the middle of the woods. Come on, man. Ridiculous. So then I just, I was like, if you're going to close the park down, I'm done. I'm done with this. But now that we have one to tell, plus I had to drive like, I don't know, 35 minutes maybe to get to the park. 40 minutes. I don't know how long. And that was kind of annoying. And now I got to drive five minutes to get there. So I'll be hitting it up. It's a pretty easy course. But all that means is you gotta you gotta get a lot of birdies. It's like a, it's a par three course. Everything's pretty short. There's some obstacles. There's a river, uh, the woods. There's there's some water holes. But it's all like pretty easy par threes. So if you get to the point where you're getting a bird every other every other hole, that's about where you need to be. Your favorite disc golfing accessories reside in my cooler. I hear that. Pena? Yeah. We're getting some names. We're getting some blues today. The blues are tough, too. There's not a lot of blues in the pop. Look at this row of color we're establishing. And there's a million boxes left. A million. What's up, Julie? What's that? Let me click on it. Oh, that's your 
eBay, uh, your YouTube channel. Sweet. Field of Her Dreams Sports Cards. Check it out. Let's keep it going. Jonathan India, Helmet Relic. I think I'm on the left. The Helmet Relic. Ah. All right, here we go. Another gold. Another shot. Another dart throw. Sean, too little. I, I got, I think I got, geez, what I get the Mother's Day and Independence Day or something, a Sean Doolittle. But that'll play. I kind of like the vibes of this song, it's uplifting. What, is it over now? Right when I say that? <laughs> yes. Okay. Bad timing. It was lifting me up. Out of vino. Julio Independence coming? Oh, that would just warm my heart. But we... We've got a 65% chance, according to the chat, of hitting the gold. I should have put gold or better. Do your Rays have any shot at winning the division? Last I checked, they, they did. But every game matters so much right now that things change. Pull the torque orange to 25 auto from your gallery rip. What do you think it's worth off the top of your head? I couldn't even guess, man. That's such a, like a, I couldn't guess. If I had to, I'd say, I don't know, 100 and, 100 and something bucks. But are we talking raw or are we talking gemmed up or just slabbed up or? It's tough. Like Torkelson's market isn't the highest, but it's not non-existent. Like there is a market there. It's just not like really high. So I would suggest checking what is my card worth.com. Herb's in the chat. So Herb was my opponent in the final week of fantasy, and he's the one who beat me. I was talking about it earlier, how disappointed I was in uh both. Who was it? Brian Wu. And there's one other guy that failed me. Peralta. You won because Freddie Peralta and Brian Wu dropped a load in the bed, smeared it around, and said, see you later. But good show, Herb. You deserve it. You had the best team all year. I was just trying to slide in under the radar at the very end of the season slide in there like a little snake slithering around didn't work congratulations i'm extremely disappointed <laughs> jp sears rookie Peralta sucked for yeah. Yep. Yeah. Also, I left one acquisition on the table. Because the previous week I started picking got picking like starting pitchers up early, too early, and the guys I picked up didn't do well. So I was like, dude, I need to pump the brakes and just wait until I need it. And I left one acquisition on the table, and who knows? I would have picked up that guy that you picked up. 
which I didn't see what he ended up doing. Um, the Mets versus the Phillies yesterday. My guy did not do well. Nine ERA, 1.5 whip, but that wasn't the thing. That's, it was already done. I It was done before that. So you picked up the other guy. You picked up Sanchez, and he went seven strong with 10 Ks. I could have picked him up. I didn't. Bravo. Christopher Sanchez. I was like, who's this guy? He's a starting pitcher slash relief pitcher. I was like, I don't even know who this is. I don't know if that would have changed anything. I think it, I think it was probably too late by then, but maybe. ERA and whip. And that last home run to tie home runs, too. Oh, here's a... Is that a Mother's Day? I think we might have a Mother's Day here. I see a pink. Mm. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. It's a Mother's Day, but it's a horizontal. No, it's not. Oh! Eight of 50. Pollock. Max Kepler. Yeah, but you would have won before that. Like, So I had home runs by one, and then he came up and tied it. But it was, like that was the... I would have had to win another category. That last home run. Yeah. I didn't expect to win home runs. I just, I expected to win stolen bases, runs, ERA, whip, and strikeouts. And then one other category in between there somewhere. Like home runs would have been fine, but I didn't think I was going to get RBIs. Had some guys sit too and off on offense that was not fun. I've got all the excuses in the world. But in the end, I'm blaming Brian Wu. I feel good about it. What's first? Well, I mean, you can... I don't know what first... Maybe we shouldn't put that all over the internet. When you coming around town again, Herb? Any plans heading up north? We should get a. We should get Rosk and a couple dudes to go out some night. That'd be fun. Another box, and I see a blue. Let's keep the blue train rolling hard. Joey Wentz. I was about to... It is a rookie, and it is a tiger. I'm not going to do it, though. Rio Muto, Vado. Another one of these Julios. We've gotten two of them so far. Two nicely centered ones. This little stack right here is starting to starting to get fat. To expand it. Pollock, Mother's Day Pollock. Yeah, we definitely need to do that, Herb. 
for sure. If we wait until um, Todd's done with golf season, which is soon, and we could have like a central place to go back to that's right there. Also, they got a new disc golf course at Trzuski Water Park. I haven't been there, but I heard it's really nice. So we could we could hit up multiple multiple parks. You know Ross would be down for that. You know it. Oh yeah, I also have an, a secret invite to another private course in the area. We can discuss that later. But one of my buddies plays all the time. And his brother built a disc golf course on his property, like a full course, and he maintains it. And it's really nice, and it's private. Only invite allowed, but I could definitely get us access to that. And th that one's probably near Rosser. What's up, Kyle? Eight months? Yes! Feel the Julio coming. Good luck. Woo! Is it in this pack, though? There's something in there. There's a gold. Oh, did Kyle call it? Bobby. Kyle might have called it right here. The next card. Come on. Come on. I've been waiting so long. Nope. Orange border. Ace is up. It's decent. Two. One Hall of Famer and one maybe in the same photo. I don't know if DeGrom's going to make it. I don't know what his future holds. Resnick, at least we got two parallels. You got a disc golf course at your place too? Wow. Tim lives 10 minutes away from where they play national. Man, we got to get Brett in on this conversation. Brett's a huge disc golf guy. The ground will be fine. Wong would know. As his personal physician and confidant, Wong has all the juice on DeGrom. David, thanks for the sub, man. Do I have my, uh, yeah, the alerts are alive. Let me throw this back up there. Guys, I'm going to sell all of this stuff except for a few handpicked cards that I pull out of here in one lot. If you want to email me with an offer after it's all said and done where you see, I'm going to show off everything at the end. There's going to be around 4,000 cards all of this. I just want to send it out the door so I don't have to deal with it. And one shot. PayPal. We'll do a little PayPal transaction. I'll ship it for free. I just want the gold Julio. I almost bought one last night. I put a bid. One ended last night. I wanted to get it for like in between 350 and four. And it went for over 400. So last second snipe. Someone must have been using that, that one website because it was on the very last second. They came and sniped me. El Canan, 34 month membership. Wow. Thank you. Says Striker, good luck today. I believe in you, amigo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to do it. Another show. Hey, we got multiples of those. Joey Votto. Helmet. What was that? Did we get two Vados in a row? No, that was real Muto.
Gold. Here we got a gold coming. Go. Oh, it's the wrong color already. Dang it. Jake McGee. Where are the short prints? Another one of these bobbies. We only got two SP so far. We need more. I think they just fall in hanger boxes at a higher clip. But we will get a bunch more. Steve with a 31 month says, if at first you don't succeed, keep trying until you're flat broke. I added that last part. And then take out some debt. Fatty McGee, that's what I was thinking. But I, but I, but I like the stairs. Any new music lately, Herb? What are you into these days? I got into Highly Suspect recently. Like their older stuff. The new stuff, not so much. But the older stuff, I was digging big time. I felt like you would like that. Like we could have a session and just get deep. Wong used to disc golf, but they called it Frisbee. Yeah, you don't want to play disc golf. You, you don't want to play Frisbee with discs. You, you can catch like two, three of them, and then your hand is raw. Too heavy. Odds on striker pulling another Julio helmet auto to 10 before pulling a gold. At this rate, I would have to put it at like plus 10,000. It's not, not good odds. A little bit of everything you love, Highly Suspect. Sweet. A lot of people liking it. Mr. Asylum is amazing. Yeah. MCID is their worst one, but everything else has been amazing. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought, too. Jason Hopes Tops is bringing back image variation SPs. Me, too. Dylan Cease has placed high in professional disc golf tournaments. I'll bet. Can you imagine him chucking a slider, but it's a disc? Just like. Whoosh. He probably. Jeez. I can only imagine how nasty his launch is. A lot of Julios. He probably starts salivating when there's like a par four. Adrian Martinez, Matt Olson, Bat Relic. Chrome, Mountcastle, and then a gold. Not today, he says. At what point do you cut your losses and just buy the gold? Lost by Highly Suspect. It's a top show. Man. I just wish we could play whatever. I wish I could play whatever I wanted on here. And not get an immediate copyright strike. Let's, let's try something. I know I'm going to get in trouble. We'll count it out. We get like four seconds of this. Oh, yeah. I love this song. That's about all we can get away with. But that song is awesome. <laughs> Sorry, guys. They'll ban the stream in like multiple countries if I even play. Like, I don't know. I can probably get away with like six, seven seconds maybe. 
You saw Muse with Highly Suspect and Evanescence last May. That would be a great show. I don't think I saw Muse. I may have seen him once. Did we go with Lewis to see Muse once, Herb? Me and Herb have been to countless concerts together. Countless. Took the kids to see Greta Van Fleet. Yeah, I knew you were into Greta. For, yeah, that's cool. I saw that photo on Facebook. I bet that was fun. Can someone tell me how to price a 101 Bowman Platinum? Try to find a comp. Any kind of comp. It doesn't have to be the same player. But 101s are so rare and like they don't even... They don't even come up for sale. Hardly ever. Never seen Muse. Okay, it must have been... I know Lewis was talking about going. Maybe he went with someone else. You can never hear the music. Well, I keep it pretty low. And that's all. That's all we get. But that's an awesome song. Yeah, we went to see... Me and Herb went to see Tool. You were there, right? Me, you, Mike, Lewis, or was it at the Braz? Hmm. 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 Hello. Nine pop of the black gold black Julio PSA 10. Really? That is surprising. That's very surprising. I actually just bought the nine. I didn't I shouldn't have given that away because it was gonna be a surprise. But just forget about it. I was gonna surprise you guys with my latest purchase. Julio Black Gold. Couple of these. Yeah, you were there for Tool, Under Oath, Coheed. Yeah, Maynard sitting alone in the back is definitely weird. And like a little disappointing. Ooh, I thought that might be a gold. Look at this. Josh Gibson gold parallel. I don't think I've ever seen a gold parallel of this card. Any of these. That's sweet. 26 to 75. Whoa. I mean, that's like, I'd consider getting that graded. Not a lot of Josh Gibson cards, let alone the gold parallel. Oh yeah, we've gotten beat up at under under oath concerts. I don't know about literally beaten up. It's possible though. Definitely mosh pits and I don't know about fist fights, but pushing and arguing and maybe some pinching. Like, there's always like some. It's like being at the bottom of a scrum or something. There's always some things that happen that are not not part of the rules, the unwritten rules of moshing. Maybe someone gives you a low blow. Maybe someone pinches you. Bites ya. Things get crazy. Broken thumb. 
Just wrench on the thumb a little bit until it snaps. What do you consider Julio's best base rookie? <sighs> like the base sapphire. Logo Fractors, um, it's not a base rookie. It's a SP. But I, personally, I would say probably the Sapphire. Typically, that's at the top of the, the ladder of collectability. The sapphire, base, as far as base cards go. Unnumbered parallels are not just not parallels. You went to 97 Lala? Whoa. I've been to a couple of different Lalas. I always get these mixed up there. Cedric Mullins, another bat relic, batting helmet relic. Black gold, Pete. I wonder if update coming out and having the new edition of black golds, but I wonder if that's going to like bring people back to last year's stuff, chasing more of the Julios and whatnot. Carlos Correa, little OC, thick on the left. I see a gold coming. We got another shot. Chrome Jaron Duran, followed by the gold Julio. There's a blue coming, so we got another dart throw. Jack Peterson. Not complaining. We've done well with blue so far. Let me get this off the screen again. All right, what are we at? We got two, four, six, eight, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We're halfway done. What are the odds that I tallied it up at the exact halfway point? Halfway point, I'd give this like a probably about, I'd say like an 8 out of 10 in terms of quality. That that little row right there is just keeping it, keeping it going. A couple of decent SPs back there. Gold stock ton of like nickel and dime stuff so far in terms of that you know any tips or tricks on pictures for ebay your listings look amazing thanks uh spend the time spend the time on it i get a light box and you know make sure that your pictures are centered if you can and that the top and bottom are equidistant, so it's not at a bad angle. Some of mine recently were a little rough, but in general, that's about it. I use a iPhone. They take amazing photographs. Have you pulled an orange to 25? It came to the league. I think the best it came to the leagues that we pulled were the mini diamond parallels. I don't recall pulling an orange at this point. JD.
What do we got coming out of this box? I don't see anything. That's the beauty of blaster boxes is there are no bust boxes. There's always You're always going to get at least a parallel or two. You're probably going to get two and then plus your relic, your batting helmet relic, and then a bunch of good base cards. Like there are no bust boxes. Here's a gold. Uh, oh. Familiar, familiar names coming out of retail. Soto and Kutch and Scherzer. S piles are getting pretty high of parallels. Like that would be considered a bust box, a gold and a foil. Maybe a little good luck charm. I'm going to pull out an oldie, but a goodie. Those who get it, get it. If you know the name of this fella right here, put it in the chat. I know there's some old school OGs in here who know exactly who this is. What's the name of this? Who's the first to get it right? I'm watching. It's been a while. Full name. Full name. I'll save you some typing. It's not Mookie Betts. There you go, Silver. You're on you're on the right page. Oh man, there's no there may be no original gangsters in the chat. In a long time. I made this card in one of my first streams. I, I just want to see how many original slammers are, are here. And it appears none. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to tell the whole story. There's not a huge story, although This guy's name is not Mookie Betts. <clears throat> it's Mookie Bradley Jr. You had to be there, I guess. <laughs> Custom one of one Mookie Bradley Jr. And one day... I'm going to make a Jackie Bradley bets just for fun. I got them all ready to go. Mookie Bradley Jr. for the win. I found them in a, like a, a old box of cart, like where, you know, you just kind of accumulate stuff and you just put it in a box and then get back to it at some point. I found them in an old box. Mookie Bradley Jr. Mookie Kikuchi.
more chances. Two more shots right here. Hopefully, maybe more. It's like this first part doesn't have much. You got to get to the second, the lower end down here. I see something flipped around. That might be our black gold parallel. Looks like a black back. Corey Seeger helmet cart. Vladdy black gold. Like down here is where the magic happens. Right here. That's what I'm talking about. What is that? What is that? Back to back somethings. Strowman? What the heck is this? Oh, it's a black all-star game. Remember we were talking about that. Marte. What's with all the Martes? Vintage stock Marte and All Star Game Black to two ninety nine. So far, only one PC card out of this whole thing, and even that, I uh, I have that card already, so I I might just have to put that in the lot. I haven't decided yet. But we got to put Strowman with the rainbows. Keeping it moving. Any Gary V cards yet? Nope. Mookie Bradley Jr. did it. it. Yep, indeed. Black, black, gold. Yeah, I'd like it. Robert says, I have pulled a Julio black gold. Do you like it? Is that one of your favorite cards? Pushing towards 50K, yeah. It's been a grind, man. Like, if you don't... If you don't try every... Like, you gotta really push hard to get subscribers. You gotta be so consistent, just pumping out the content every day. And if you take a couple days off, it's just... Oh, everything craters. It's, it's wild, man. YouTube will reward you for hard work by like spreading your content to other people. But if you take a couple days off, they will, they'll just completely stop. Numbers crash. Surprise. You haven't gotten auto yet. No, I only expected to get, well, that last case we got none. So one to two autos, maybe out of here, but we haven't even gotten a relic yet. It is kind of weird. We got a lot of boxes still. Rainbow foil. You don't really open blasters for autos. You open blasters for parallels. And apparently helmet relics. If you want autos, you gotta rip jumbo boxes because you get a guaranteed auto out of those. Chrome. <sighs> Pretty sure we got a blue of this already, didn't we? It's a Seattle one, too. It's Seattle.
Here we go. Jake Walsh. The only autos in blasters are the helmet relics. Is that so? Well, maybe that's why we haven't gotten one yet. They don't have any stars autos in there. Are you serious? Wow. Pretty sure you pulled a camo of those guys also. Yeah, I think you're right, Anthony. Almost bought a Bobby Gold foil. Yeah, I just bought one of those not too long ago, Chris. How you doing, by the way? Parallels or Max Payne? Not really. We got four good ones already. You can, well, five. You can go long stretches just pulling scrubs. I mean, look at that last hanger box case, that box case I just opened. I got like no good parallels out of a whole case of hanger boxes. So I'm pleased with this. Somewhat pleased. You got an 87 auto out of a blaster? Okay. I don't remember if I ever did. So I can't say. Joe Adele. Dude, where are the SP? I'm, I feel like I'm missing SPs. Like I just glossed over them accidentally. Should probably take an extra minute to look. Instead of flying so fast through this stuff. Alcantara, that's the second one of these we got. All-star game. Oh, dude, so many Perez's. Torkelson Black Gold. I can see the end. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Is that a blue, black, gold? No, not yet, but I'm sure we'll get one. Yeah, the Prez is the mustache card. Good call. <laughs> it is. I pulled a Matt Olson about seventh. Oh boy. There's, I'm sure there's a bunch of SP. I had to have missed some. If there are every other, no, I don't think we looked. It's... Oh, it's one out of 42. One out of six boxes we should get. Should be getting more. I thought they'd have them turned around backwards, the SPs. Yeah, there's one. See, it's backwards. Like, we haven't missed any backwards ones. Kirby, that I know of. 
George Kirby rookie short print. Maybe we're just going to hit a run of them. It's possible. Chrome Scherzer. Julio Stars. Familiar faces. Tim Anderson. Bo, we're getting a good amount of black golds. I feel like we're going to hit the set, the complete set out of this. All right, here we go. We, sur we passed that, so that's hopefully not another gold. did pull a Julio SP last time you pulled a Kirby SP. SSSS SP. Get the Ichiro. I think I'm going to sell my Julio SP. If I, if I don't get the gold or whatever, I, I'm going to sell the Julio SP to fund the gold. But I shouldn't even be thinking about that. I should just be like, yeah, well, here it comes. So I don't have to do that. Here comes the gold. We do have a gold in this box. Sometimes these Lodolos, like the SP Lodolo and the regular look so much alike. Familiar face. I should show you guys this amount of parallels <laughs> like that I have of, the, of this, like all these ones that are just meh. So many. I have so many. Chrome Rizzo. Donaldson. Helmet. And the good stuff down below. Here it is. Back to back. It's upside down. <laughs> Freaking rowdy. Wow. I think I have the complete rainbow of Jose Trevino. All of them. Every numbered card in the complete. Uh, just... All of them. One on one, even maybe. I don't know. Mm. It smells like a gold Julio. Put that back up. I'm going to sell all this stuff, except for a couple of handpick ones, which I either have one or no PC cards out of here. Because I already have that rainbow foil Bobby. And I have like all kinds of those debuts. What's more rare, Julio gold foil or true gold? Gold foil. There's less of them. And you can only get them out of jumbo boxes. Mm. 
no autos. There's a de there's a debate whether you can even get autos out of here other than helmet relics. Unless that song meant that epic is incoming. Something epic. Bo Brisky. Kyle Tucker. Al Kaline. Lucky Peter's back. Yeah, as far as the gold foil cards, usually there's only about 600 of them that exist. And there's 2,022 of the gold numbered ones, but actually the gold numbered ones are more popular just because they're numbered, I think, and people don't, most people, most normal people don't know how many gold foils there are. They're just like, oh, that's not numbered, must not be that good. Complete rainbow of Diego Castillo, maybe? I mean, uh, I might have to change tactics and go hobby or jumbo. Didn't we start out with, yes, we did. This is how we're rolling. I, like retail is fun, but I'm seeing the same names in retail over and over for the parallel. I need some good luck. Like if I put these boys on the stage, maybe that will be good luck. Where do I put them? Right here where we can see them. Bring on your brother. Bring on your brother, come on. Did Tops make chrome hangers this year? No. Yeah, that's a gold Josh, too. Josh Gibson's a gold to 75. The Wit Julio Golds came from hangers. Man, that's not my luck. I think I've opened up three cases of hanger boxes, plus three plus cases of hanger boxes. And it's all Diego Castillo's, Jose Trevino's, like these guys I'm pulling, I pulled many of the same guys, golds and stuff. And I'm opening mostly retail. This is my third case of blaster boxes, I think, second or third case. Still a somewhat small sample size, I guess, but I know they're in here. They got to be in here. They're rare, so it is what it is. It's just frustrating pulling doubles of golds and triples of golds that I've gotten already. And like Lucius Fox, I mean, I'm telling you, same names. Sean Murphy.
They're like, we'll make it up to you. We'll give you a stars of MLB Julio. I feel like we just did this twice in a row already. Seven twenty-eight. Welcome. Thanks for being here. The epic Julio Gold Chase continues. Hunter Strickland, not Julio. But we got, let's see, a, we got another 30 chances at some kind of parallel. Some kind of, like, there's really, there's, so we hit one, two, we got, we're taking care of Bobby. It's all taken care of. Bring your gold friend to the party. That's the only way. Have you ever been invited to a party where it was like, so you're bringing so-and-so with you, right? Usually it's like, bring your sister, like, a you know, when it's that kind of thing. Or bring your girlfriend's friend. Bring your famous buddy. Gold Julio. Plenty of chances in this box. I can see it already. A lot of Donald Donaldson's in my parallel pile as well Eric with a five dollar super chest as I pulled my gold Julio's one from a hanger one from a blaster so they are in there okay thank you for the donation and I'm confident that it's coming we know they exist in there India Gallo Melendez you know what? We'll just give you a Julio stars of the MLB. Just as a thank you for buying this box. Make you feel like you got your money's worth. Back to back to back hits right here. Hit number one. Not going to get it done, but that one, good chance that that's going to be a good card. It's okay. Royce Lewis Black Gold. Man, that's the first 87 blue. But that's got to be it out of here. Back to back to back. Back to back to back. With one decent card. Two decent cards. Wasn't Gallo supposed to hit 350 without the shift? <laughs> he was supposed to be better. I don't know about 350. I think let's start with 250. I think that was the... Let's shoot for 250, Joey. If Joey Gallo hits 250, then he's an all-star. Because if he hits 250... Then he's going to be hitting 40 bombs with that 250. Three fifty, and he's the best player to ever play the game. You probably missed a stats out of 300.
Here's a foil. Joey Bartlett. The first green of the show. So we got one red, one orange, and one green. Ah, I can't help but feel like we should be getting many more than that. Maybe not many, but about twice as many. Urias, Chrome. RWD Sports Cards with a $4.99 donation. I opened up so much 2023 products to complete my Braves team card rainbow. Still have a few more to go. Keep chasing that gold Julio. Chop on. Appreciate the dono. We're getting down there. It's getting close. We need a few more chances left. Gold Julio or bust. I may have to resort to the expensive route. I might have to go jumbos or something. Although I already did a case of jumbos. The only thing I didn't do a case of is hobby boxes. Is that the play? But if you're going to open a, a hobby format, you might as well do jumbos to get your guaranteed auto and your gold foils. I don't really see hobby boxes as a great format, but you can get the, you can get the clears out of there. So the clear acetate would be a be a nice used car. Gold Julio last box. I'll take it. If I got to wait to the last box, I'm I'm fine. I'll take it. Uh there's another green, see? I knew there was more coming. There had to be. Backwards car, that's another SP we're looking for. It all works out in the end. Freddie Freeman. Pretty cool. Ooh, that's an SSP. I think. Yeah. That's a 60. That's a that's a super short print. Sweet. SSSSSSSSSSSP. That's a bad boy right there. Yeah, haven't seen that card. Very, very nice. You guys seen that one? I'm pretty sure Trout hates Otani. Look at like Otani's just like, look me in the eyes when I'm shaking your hands. Trout's like, I will not. Or maybe it's a cultural thing. Maybe you're not supposed to look him in the eyes. I don't, I don't know. Another Royce Lewis. We got back to back black gold Royce Lewis's. Freddie doesn't get the love he deserves. I think it's because he's a first baseman. People just don't give first baseman the love for some reason. People feel like first baseman are kind of a dime a dozen. Like Pete never got the love he deserved. Freddie doesn't get the love he deserves. Matt Olson doesn't get the love he deserves. So what a box, man. We got a green incoming. We got the Bobby base an, and a foil. Mercado. Here it is. Here it comes. The 
That's sweet. I like Lodolo. I'll take that. Or somebody will take that. Send me an email if you want all these cards. Shoot me an offer. The highest offer wins. I, mean, I can't even get this guy on stage anymore. Do we got to take... I'm going to just set him to the side. There's no room. You just set right here in front. How about that? O'Neill Cruz, rookie, stars, chrome. Freddy SSP. Excited about that. Blasters. Maybe that's the way to get SSPs. Blasters. What would that Ruth SP go for? I uh, jam it up probably about 60, 60 bucks, maybe 70. Like it, it varies. SPs usually range from about 50 to a hundred bucks and it depends on when, and it depends on a lot of factors, but since it's Babe Ruth, it's going to have uh, infinite longevity of a collectible card. You guys are in the way. It's not like some regular, even a rookie that may fade like Ruth's always going to have value. Trout's a Philly and Otani's a Dodger. <clears throat> I don't think the Phillies have the budget for it. <clears throat> They've got a payroll. They've already got Bryce on there. Bryce is a big chunk. Bryce is a big chunk. Trey Turner is a very big chunk. I don't know what Nola and Wheeler cost, but they got it. They can't be cheap. Uh, Schwarbers can't be cheap. They're going to have to pay some of their young guys eventually. I don't think they can. Who knows? John Gray. Full rainbow of John Gray. Tyler O'Neill. So we've gotten, what is this? One, two, three, four helmet relic parallel so far. I think I said in the beginning, like six maybe is what we expected. Nola's gone and Hoskins is gone after this year. Does the payroll of Nola plus Hoskins equal Trout? Oh, I was hoping that would be a Royce. Cole Sands, Suzuki. <laughs> That's actually a collectible card right there. That is a nice hit. Aggressive Otani and upset trout. Why is he so upset? Why is he so sad? It's not that he's upset. He's sad. Sad trout. I think we got three of these today. I think Otani to the Dodgers and Trout to the Yankees. This, that, I think that's how it's going to go down. What up, Dragon? Just baseball cards. You watch your mouth when you're talking about Trout. I don't know. 
he just he's been fighting the injury bug. He's going to have a few seasons where he's completely healthy still, and he's going to have well over a hundred war for his career and be one of the greats, all time greats, no matter what he already is, like guaranteed Hall of Famer. He's only thirty one, right? He's still in his very early thirties. Just had a few years of injuries, and also like not only injuries, but like why do I even why am I even playing for this team? If you're not happy with your work environment, you're not going to be performing 100%. Even though he's still putting up ridiculous numbers when he plays. Oh, that's nice. Chrome Julio. Oh, tiny to St. Louis. Might as well just be like, oh, time to the Tigers. I think Goldie and Arnado still are hefty on the books, right? Very hefty. You don't, Goldie's not retiring. Well, eventually, but. Logan Webb. By the time Goldie retires, dude, Goldschmidt and Trout are the same class. 2011. Goldie's got a ways to go. By the time Goldie's ready to retire, Trout's going to be washed. So they're close to it. Suzuki. I don't know, James. <laughs> black, black gold. Here we go. Oh. Be a big one. Julio or Bobby. I'll take either one. Black, black gold. Wish me luck. I'm going to close my eyes and let you guys look first. Oop. There's one more. There it is. Too bad. Not too bad. Black, black gold, Bryce Harper. I mean, you really can't lose with this checklist. To 299. I've got the Pete. Black, black gold. It's pretty sweet. Very sweet. What if I closed my eyes and revealed it and it was like the Kikuchi, like the super rare one. There's only one of them. It says, gotcha, striker, on the back. Okay. A blue, a chance at a blue. Oop. Opening day Bronx bash. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. Can we get Otani in Detroit? Nah. Nope. Why would he? I can't see any reason for any professional sports player in any of the big leagues to want to come to Detroit, Michigan, the smelly armpit of the country. Unless, unless they're offering way more money than some other team. That's the only way. And then if you start building a winner, then you can get some guys that might want to win. Those are the guys you want. But Shohei will never come here. If he does, I'd question his sanity. Like, okay, let me get this straight. You're going from Los Angeles, well, Anaheim, to Detroit. Ooh. Like maybe before you make your decision, 
let's take a stroll through the streets of Detroit. And then you can say yes or no. Oh, and by the way, it's going to be in January. Blue. Color match. Pepio. Not too bad. Rookie debut. Arenado. Joe Adele. Green foil coming up. Big potential. Big potential. Come on. Yeah, if Mr. I was still alive, he'd offer him $750 million. Maybe. That's kind of cool. Bautista, rookie. I kind of like that. I do like that. Yeah, yeah. To four ninety nine. dollars been pretty lucky on the greens. Look at these greens. Those are decent. Collectible. Back to Trout being in a bad mood. He's literally got like the lips that mean I do not like this. When they're like, you're just like, I don't like this. It's either I don't like this or I don't believe this. This is sus. It's basically like whatever's happening here is sus. And I'm out. Another Julio. I mean, probably what? Like 12 of these base Julios in here. <laughs> what if... I just had a funny thought. What if Otani just let a juicy fart out and he's standing right next to Trout and he's looking at him and smiling and Trout's just like, that's the only explanation. One more time. Picture it. Hey. It's the most likely explanation. That's what happened. Jake says shells are so crisp. I forgot to use strike force when I bought mine. Well, at least you can use it next time. Use code strike force. S T R Y K E F O R C E at cardshells.com and you get 10% off your order. One time thing, so make it count. No minimum. Seven sixty-five in here. Woo. The last push. We got we've got chances still. Plenty of chances left. Gold Julio. Uh, we know they're in here. What is this? Oh, Bobby. Bobby Bat Relic. Well, that's like, like pushed in a little bit. Bobby Bat Relic. Batting Helmet Relic. I keep calling it a Bat Relic. Batting Helmet.
I haven't noticed one yet. Thank goodness. I've noticed a lot of those though. Rainbow foil. Back to back. Back to back hits. Yu Chang. And Austin Nola. And see the like that's just like I that look with the lips out. You're just like, I don't accept this. I don't like it. It's not really happening. Can we move on? This is uncomfortable. And that's Trout at the All-Star Game. Five boxes left. Sandwich? A sandwich play. I haven't used this one in a while. Okay, had a good year. Tim says, first time here, Striker. How are we looking from Chi Town? We're looking good. Pretty decent. Case. Decent. I've opened many. And this one on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm thinking it's about. So far. Like, what do you expect out of a case, really? One good parallel hit. And that's not even an expectation. That's just you're still getting lucky. And we have gotten one. It's the lowest end one. And then there's a bunch of other like good stuff. I'd say like probably about a 7.5 so far. We got an SSP. And we got a bunch of SPs. Black, black, gold. Bunch of rookie color. So we still got more to go though. But at this point, 7.5. It was an eight earlier. It kind of downgraded a little. It was like an eight after we got that Bobby, and then it's nothing's came since really. Well, this the Freddy. So that kind of helped maintain, but I'm I'm being strict, being harsh. We have got a lot of really good nickel and dime stuff. Which is expected. That's like a standard. So there's a solid floor established here that no matter what, you rip a case of this, no matter what, you're gonna be. Like your floor is like a six. So we're above the floor. And we still got more. It's a good rhyme. Here's a blue. Let's see. Diego. No. Nope. Azokar. Back to back. Gold. This could be it. This could be it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Full rainbow, this guy, too, by the way. We've gotten a lot of good show haze. Mookie Black, Black Old. Four boxes left. Well, if this doesn't work out, what format's next, boys and girls? I'm not capitulating. Not yet.
Well, yeah, Wong says supposedly wins don't mean anything these days. They definitely don't mean as much, but they still are valued. The old timers still value wins, and the old timers are the ones who are voting. I don't think they should value wins very much, but what a win tells you, at least they're going long enough in the game to get a W. But that's really it. I mean, and, and a quality start is probably involved in there, too. Capital Towns cards with a $5. Hi from CTC Capital Towns cards on YouTube. Have you ever watched yet? Please give it a go. You will laugh weekly. Episode 73 tonight. If you shoot me an email with your channel, I'll go and subscribe. Appreciate the dono. There's Trout. He doesn't have time to be sad in the outfield. Locked in. You got to stay locked in out there. No time to mope. Ozzy. Wow, another one of these. I think we've gotten three of these. Okay, there's another gold in here. Still still chances. God, last box. Someone called last box Julio Gold. That would be so epic. Super duper epic. Foil upside down. Chris Bassett. I saw a P. Mm. 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 Chrome Hunter Green. Three left. Ah. Arno, we need a gin here for the Mookie Bradley Jr. Nobody got it. Striker trivia. Who is this guy? What is this card? Time for Clayton. Nah. I'm doing this one all natural. I mean, you can get a dub if you're not a starter, though, Trevor. Like, plenty of relief pitchers get dubs when they get thrown in there in a tied game or even below. They pitch one inning, and then the team comes back and, and scores a couple of runs, and they get the dub. But if you only pitch, like, if you're a starter and you only go, like, four innings or something, I think you got to go five to get a win, right? At least... Here's another parallel that we were looking for. Glaber Torres, blue parallel. Got a little stack of blues. Got to be some hits down here. Another green. Take a big green. Jake Lamb. I said a big green. Andrelton Simmons. Two boxes left. Thanks for being here, everybody. Don't forget to hit that like button.
Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's why wins are so weird. Such a w weird stat, Jeff. It's like they don't deserve a win if they, if that happens. Technicality. Same as the relievers, they don't deserve a win if their team comes back. They only pitch one inning. I don't. I don't believe they deserve a win there, but is what it is. We got an SP. It's Matt Chapman. So then that's it. Like we're there with the SPs that we we're supposed to get. I think. I think that's about it. Got a handful of them. We're winding this down. A couple of boxes left. O'Neill Cruz rookie. Helmet relic. A Zokar rookie rainbow foil. And an orange? Is that what I see here? The orange or a red? I can't tell. I think it's a red. That's a good sign. I was looking at the red Julios. It's actually an orange. Manaya. Mm. You got the rainbow Manaya. Luis Robert Black Gold. Chrome Suzuki. Another Julio Stars. Here you go, kid. Have a Julio Stars. That'll make you happy. That'll keep you quiet for a few minutes. Last box magic. They called it. Do you rip during the off season? There is no off season, Pistol Pete. For baseball cards. I never stop. We never stop. Subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to 1 million subscribers. And I need your help to do it. Just hit the subscribe button. It's free. Doesn't cost nothing. It just says, hey, I like your channel. I want to see more of your content. Notification bell, always a good thing. The last box. What are we going to have here? Oh, I see what we're going to have here. Let's just get it out of the way. It's, it's a blue. Blue Scherzer. It's not like a bad thing. Just could be better. I like that. Chrome stars, Bobby. Put him back there. Jaron Duran, rookie. We got one black gold and the blue. Mendick. It's an O'Neill Cruz box. Black gold O'Neill Cruz. Are there any golds in here? Are there any golds in this spot? I already go through that. Yeah. Mendick. Mm. Last spot. See, that's why I know when you get those blues, it's usually slim pickings. Well, that's it. But let's look at the cards. Like I said, I'm selling all this stuff. The whole box is just going going in a giant box, and it's going to whoever wants it. Send me an email with an offer. I'll pay for the shipping. All good. All right, we're going to look at just the big boys up here on the stage. I mean, I suppose, like, we got a stack of gold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 22 golds plus whatever's on the stage. Big stack of rainbow foils. Some rookies in there. Rookies and stars. Blues. Plenty of blues. Black golds galore. 
not to mention the ones that are on the stage. We've got a little pile of like secondary color and stars. Scherzer blue, just Shohei stuff over here, trout, just things to make note of. Probably got the equivalent of, I don't know how many sets in there. Tons of different, tons of sets if you want to put them together. Couple of greens. Couple of oranges. A red. And then the stand worthy stuff. Black gold Bryce to $299. MVP caliber. Trout no tani. SSP. Super short print Freddie Freeman. Number 60 on the bottom. Nick Lodolo, true green rookie, and Bautista. We got this stack of just good cards. Chrome Bobby, Julio, Chrome Julio, Josh Gibson. That's a gold to 75. Short print George Kirby rookie. Black Gold Julio, 87 Bobby, All-Star Game Julio, Generation Now, 87, another All-Star Game, another Black Gold, Chrome Bobby, 87. Pena, Blue Debut, Suzuki, Blue Debut, Bobby, Blue Debut, Rainbow Foil Rookie, Bobby Witt Jr., that's the true. Edward Cabrera, numbered to 299. Mother's Day Pollock. Yastrzemski, that's a black to 299. Tom Seaver, short print. Chapman, short print. Babe Ruth, short print. Randy Johnson, batting. That's legendary. Short print. Marte, black to 299. Vintage Stock Marte to 99, and a gold Bryson Stott rookie debut to 2022. And we got a huge stack of helmet relics. These are our parallels, though, besides that numbered one. <clears throat> Blue Glaber, Alec Thomas rookie, Corey Seager, Starling Marte. And that's about it. So if anybody's interested, just send me an offer. Somebody's going to get it all. All of it. At Randy Card, I know I love it. So we got to do it again. What's the next format? Case of hobbies? Case of jumbos? I'm going to get it. I'm not going to give up. What's the best bet to pull it? Probably jumbos, right? Gold foil. Gold. One of the two. You're only getting, geez, six gold foils in a case, though. I already did a case of jumbos. Oh, I kind of want to just do the hobbies then. I don't know. Help me. Let's do one final poll. I can't do a poll. Oh, that's why. We're going to end this poll and start a new one. Last poll before we go. Help me out here. What format next? Jumbo. Hobby. Hanger, blaster. Help me out. How do I how do I pull this card? How do I pull the gold Julio? What format next? <clears throat> I'll go and buy it right now. Retail boxes. I've already ripped, man, I've ripped a case of retails. I've ripped a case, uh, all of it. I've, already, I've ripped cases of everything. Looking like early leader, jumbos, but hobbies are close behind. Oh, hobby just took the lead. They don't have, well, they have, they have blister packs, but you can't really get a case of that. 
and I don't know. Those are those are expensive. But you can get a purple out of there too. That's the beauty of the blister packs. You can get purple and blues. So two unique formats. Or two unique cards that you can only get out of a specific format. I wouldn't mind doing some bl blisters are just a pain to open. They take forever to open. Pistol Pete says, Striker, you're the ripper of the year. Thank you. Get your vote in for ripper of the year. Retail display. Come on, just baseball cards. I don't want to do a case. I already did a case of those, and they weren't bad. They're actually good. The retail boxes. They were good. It's just a little... I just didn't have any luck with that. I think Jumbo. We got Jumbos. You guys are making me... You're going to make me go to the bank, eh? Get a case of Jumbos and Hobby, split it with someone half and half. I got to do the whole thing. I got to do the whole thing. Maybe we just make a 24-hour stream of it, and I get a case of everything, and we just go ham. It's going to depend on what kind of offers I get for this to try to get back, because I guess I'm not keeping anything out of here. Everything goes from this whole case. Everything goes. I'm not keeping any of it. I got to fund my next case one way or another. And I could nickel and dime it and send the cards off to get graded and get. I just, I'd rather just next. It's got to be hangers. Well, it's tied 30. Oh, man, it's close. Get your votes in because I got to go four o'clock. I got to go. I got a lot of work to do still. And I got to go to the post office. I got a lot to do. We're going to end the poll. It can't be a tie. If it's a tie, do I just get a case of each? I'm ending it. Where'd it go? Where'd the poll go? There it is. Hobby, 39%. Jumbo, 38%. Hangers, 18%. Blasters, 3%. You guys didn't didn't think the blasters are going to cut it, eh? Hobby box it is. Hobby box case it is. 1700 for a jumbo? Oh, it's a hobby. I should just, like, jumbo would be way easier to open, less packs, but you guys spoke. I'll put an order in today for a hobby case. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here with me. And we're going to get it done. One way.